Uh, hello, uh, welcome to day six. So basically I'd had four good days of running, um, but at the end of day four, sort of intense pain in my, it's more in my foot really. What was good though, the best part of yesterday was meeting the lovely Rona. And I ran along with Rona and her dog Fergus for a while and it really genuinely was um, brilliant. It really was. Lovely to meet Rona, lovely to run and chat. Um, and it obviously helped take my mind off some of the some of the bad stuff. The problem is I know that I can't really, you know, I know how much of a struggle it was to to do those last few miles uh, yesterday. And so really, there's just no way. I mean, I've covered about a third of the total distance on this route. Uh, so there's so much more miles to go. Uh, part of the problem of admitting defeat is the fact that you've obviously opened to people saying, one idiot. It is a bit of a problem, obviously. Nobody likes to look stupid. But uh, a big part of this uh, problem, I think, is the train I've been on. So obviously part of the problem is the miles. That's, that's fair enough. It's a lot of miles. Uh, the next thing is the fact that it's, they're all run. Uh, don't do any walking, as we know. Uh, and that, so that doesn't help. That continues the strain. Um, but uh, but more than anything, more than anything, uh, it's the terrain and the beach particularly. Some of the sections of beach that I was running on where the sand was shifting under your feet, I'm talking really awkwardly as well, uh, but the worst was the pebbles, really big sort of stones, slippy stones, and because I was needing to run, um, there's a lot of, yeah, it's quite, quite a problem. And I think that's what's done the damage really, but you live and learn. Uh, this is, without doubt, the last day of running. Um, significant day today. Uh, that's not because of the referendum on membership of the European Union. That's because uh, today is the day that my ambition uh, appears to have gotten the better of my ability. And so I want to make it clear that I didn't plan the run because I thought I could easily do it. I planned it because I actually wasn't sure and uh, felt it was worth a bash. And it's quite ironic, really, because uh, I spent most of last year uh, paranoid about getting a stress fracture, and I didn't get one. And uh, this is it's not exactly been on my mind, and uh, I'm not saying I've definitely got one, but I certainly think I've got the makings of one, if I haven't already. Um, so it's very, very painful to take a step. But I wanted to tell you about this place. So I'm at a place called Conic Hill. Conic Hill is on the eastern shore of Loch Lomond. And it's a very important place. Um, it's not just because it's very pretty. So Scotland's got different geologies, uh, like a lot of places. So in Scotland, you've got three distinct areas. You've got the Southern Uplands, uh, you've got the Midland Valley, and then you've got the Highlands. But there's a, there's a line, technically, that marks where the Highlands collided with the Midland Valley. So the line bisects Arran, comes straight through Loch Lomond, and uh, carries on up and it points towards uh, Stonehaven, actually. Here at Conic Hill it's very easy to see where the uh, island boundary zone is because there's a series of islands that form the line and at Conic Hill you can see them. So from this line to the left is the Midland Valley from the line to the right is the Highlands. So although I am obviously very disappointed, it is a fairly appropriate place to stop. If the Romans didn't even manage to conquer the Highlands, then what chance have I got? Seriously. Look at me.